Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ella and in today's video I'm going to be giving you a complete packing list of everything you should take to university. <laughs> You heard right, I'm going to be giving you a complete packing list of everything that you should take to university this year. Now I've made these kind of videos in the past where I guide you guys on the kind of things you should and shouldn't bring to uni, but I thought that this time I would give you a complete packing list of absolutely everything, all the essentials that you need to take. Now just before I jump in, this video is actually very kindly sponsored by Paperclip. Now when Paperclip reached out and told me about the student starter kit, I was genuinely like this would have saved me so much happiness at the start of uni. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you the premium student starter kit. In this kit you get over 70 items, that's right 70 items, that's crazy isn't it? Um, but it is absolutely everything that you could possibly need when you go to uni. If you want to shop my student starter kit then the link is in the description. It is actually a referral link so if you choose to shop through my link I will get a little bit of commission. Obviously no pressure but obviously it helps me out if you do choose to do that. Don't forget you can use my code which I'll leave on the screen now. Um, if you want a little bit of money off you do actually get 50 pounds off with this code which i think is amazing so one thing that i would say when you pack for uni is to make sure that you are thorough you do not want to miss anything out so i'm going to be giving you a complete university packing list in today's video i'm going to be taking you through absolutely everything that you need i'm going to try not elaborate too much because i think i might be here forever but hey ho so you can either use this video in one of two ways you can either use it as a complete packing list you know make a note of everything that i say just to make sure you don't miss anything or you can just take the easy shortcut and purchase the premium student starter kit i have to say that i think it takes out a lot of the hassle when you think about how much you know kitchen stuff and like bedding and everything costs like you are honestly saving money so okay so first things first i'm going to take you through kitchen stuff give you a little lowdown of everything you're going to need when you're cooking now it's definitely better to be over prepared rather than under prepared there's nothing worse than rocking up to uni and not having everything you need especially when it comes to like cooking it's just not ideal so the first thing that you should get are some different size saucepans. Notes that I say different size. Really, you want one small one, one medium one, one big one, because you use them for different things, generally. Now, in the student starter kit, you do actually get three different pans here. You do actually get three stainless steel pans with glass lids, which I think is pretty neat. Of course, you also need a frying pan for all of those times you're going to be cooking bacon, fried eggs, what do I cook, chicken, you know, Frying pan is definitely essential. Also, make sure you get non-stick. The one that comes with the paper clip starter kit is, of course, non-stick, but very, very important. You don't want, honestly, the ones that aren't non-stick are bad vibes. Bad, bad, bad vibes. You also want to make sure that you have a sieve and a colander, both are very, very important. God knows how many times a week that I use a colander for pasta, you know? Absolute essential. Also, I actually think this one's really cute. Like, I really like the white um casing i think that's really really cute a baking tray for all of the oven pizzas all of the jacket potatoes um baking trays are are like honestly probably one of the most essential things you'll ever have at uni to be honest a cutting board a chopping board whatever you want to call it this one is made out of bamboo so it's a really solid one that will last you also doubles up as a nice little cheese board if you ever want to have like a cheese and wine night with your friends don't know if anyone else did that but me and my friends always used to have cheese and wine nights at uni and they are the best and also i think like cheese and wine on this would actually look really cute <laughs> in the paper clip starter kit you also get another little plastic chopping board like a mini one which i think is really cute i actually think this would be really handy because you know them times when you just want an apple but you don't want to chop you don't want to like use like an a1 bloody cutting board you just want like a little little one i actually think this is really really cute and handy of course you want to make sure that you've got your cheese grater as well um my cheese grater got put to good use whilst i was at uni needless to say needless to say so next up you want to think about kitchen utensils so like everything that you're going to need whilst you're actually like cooking um honestly it's really easy to like forget about some of these so in the paper clip starter kit you actually get everything you need so you know you don't miss anything so it's a winner first up you've got a potato peeler don't be peeling potatoes with knives oh my god i've seen so many people do this and they end up cutting themselves and honestly it's a big gory mess that you don't want to have to deal with so make sure you have a potato peeler <laughs> also make sure you have a potato masher for all the sunday roasts that you make with your housemates i know every year me and my housemates and um my housemates girlfriends 
house um, we'd have like a Christmas meal uh, and so it's really nice to just gather around with friends but obviously you can't make mash without potato masher so make sure you have one. Then you want like different kinds of spoons. Now I know this sounds bizarre but until you've lived on your own you'll kind of understand what I mean. So I've got like a, this like metal kind of like tablespoon which I think is great and then you've got one with these like little slots. If you make poached eggs this is this changes the game this is what you need because honestly it's so if you try to take a poached egg with one of these falls straight off this drains the water at the same time a little hack for you there i don't know if that's just common knowledge but for me this was a game changer wooden utensils got a spatula and obviously two wooden spoons because one wooden spoon is never enough next up we've got a big plastic spoon a ladle honestly you think you don't need a ladle until you don't have a ladle that's all i'm saying okay like a slotted spatula also little life hack if your pizza is sticking to the tray these things are the way to go this is how you stop that happening, just saying. You need a can opener for all the baked beans. You need a, you need a tin can opener for them times when the budget do be tight and you have to eat tinned food, definitely been there. You know, it can get a bit rough when the budget budget inside of uni, so you make, need to make sure you have one of these. Very, very important. You need some scissors. Do you know, fun fact, I actually cut up my pizzas using scissors. Um, I've been judged in the past, do I care? No, I don't. I stand by my decision because it's honestly just so much easier. Little life hack. And of course you need a knife for all your chopping needs. Next you've got like a little whisk. Really, really cute. And you've also got an oven glove. Honestly, don't be using tea towels. Do not be using tea towels to pick up hot things. That is honestly how you get blisters. You need an oven glove. I was actually the only person who brought an oven glove um, whilst I was at uni. And no one else brought one and everyone else used it. So it is an, it's necessary, it is necessary. Next, you've got tea towels. Make sure you bring tea towels. These are the two that come in the starter kit, but honestly, make sure you have more than one tea towel because honestly, they become biohazards. And I don't use that word lightly. They really do become biohazards. So make sure you have a spare one and just have a spare one just so that you have one that you can send to tea towel heaven if you have to. Because needless to say, I've had to send many tea towels to tea towel heaven um, sometimes washing them just does not cut it, you know, sometimes they just gotta go. They gotta go. Okay, so next, all like the bowls and stuff actually come wrapped in towels, which I think is a great idea. It's a really good way of sort of saving on extra packaging and stuff. Like nobody wants to have to deal with that. Look, it's all packaged up really cutely. I really like that. Really, really nice. So make sure you bring two bowls. Don't just bring one. Rookie mistake, bring two. It's always good to have a spare. Make sure you bring at least two mugs. Uh, two, these are the two mugs that come in the starter kit. But honestly, I drink so much coffee throughout the day that, you know, you need to make sure you have more than one mug. You really do. It's Then once you've got to stay up writing essays for your deadlines, you know, you need your mug companions. Make sure you get two good ones. They'll see you through your whole uni experience as well. Also, make sure you have some dishcloths. Very, very important to make sure you keep all your sides clean or, you know, if you choose to do washing up with them, you can also use that. You actually get two in the starter kit as well, so you're all prepared for your cleaning duties. So you're all prepared to play your role in the cleaning rotor, you know. And, of course, you need two glasses. Now, we all know what these are going to be used for. You know, pre-drinks. That's all I'm saying. Pre-drinks. Um, make sure you have more than one because you're gonna smash one of them, let's be real, you know? Pre-drinks and glass is not a good mix, but make sure you have two, so you always have a spare one. Okay, so onto plates. Make sure you have two small plates, two little tea plates. You know, these are for your little snacks, your slice of cake, your biscuits, that kind of vibe. And of course you need two dinner plates for when you don't want to wash up your plate, so you just got a spare one so you can be lazy. I mean, I don't recommend doing that, but I mean, I've definitely done that. Everyone's done that, you know. Now, next up, you need good quality cutlery. Now, as you can see, the cutlery that you get in the Paperclip Starter Pack is actually really good quality. And not gonna lie, at uni, if you have rubbish cutlery, it will not last you for one. But also, it will end up just like bending and being really annoying. And it's just generally nice to eat with nice cutlery anyway. In the Paperclip Starter Kit, you get four forks, four knives, four teaspoons, and four four normal spoons. Next up in the starter kit, you get four coat hangers. These are actually really good quality coat hangers, but make sure that you bring coat hangers to uni. Honestly, you'll thank yourself because when you get to uni and you've got a wardrobe and you can't hang anything up, 
then you'll be like, where are my coat hangers? But do you know what? If you've got the paperclip student starter kit, you won't have to worry about that because they've got them all sorted for you. And they're also really good quality. Like these are solid coat hangers that are gonna last you your whole life, not gonna lie. So next up, we're on to towels. First things first, you get two face towels, two flannels, love that, honestly. Um, for all the times that you were taking, you know, just want to wash your face, you've got two face towels. You've got like two normal towels. Also, can I just say that I love this like duck grey colour they come in. They're so, so nice. They're also really good quality towels, which helps as well. So yeah, you get two body towels and two hand towels. Love that. You know, you've got to dry your hands after you wash them. Love that. Very, very swish. Very nice. Now in this, in this little sack, you get two pillows and a duvet. Um, I'm not going to get them out only because it will literally go everywhere and I won't know how to put it back in the sack but yeah two pillows and a duvet it is actually a double duvet as well so you're gonna be all wrapped up in this like comfy amazing duvet even if you've got a single bed make sure you get a double duvet because honestly it's just comfier you know then to go with that of course you've got a duvet cover in white and you've got a white deep fitted sheet um, which is obviously a winner. And of course, you've got pillowcases. Make sure you don't forget your pillowcases. Okay, so that is my complete list of essentials that you need to take to university. For any like sort of non-essentials, I have actually made other videos. So I will link them in the description if you want to watch any of my other videos. They sort of mention the non-essentials that you will need. But but I really hope that this has sort of helped. Um, so this is sort of like a basic essentials list of everything that you will need. Um, of course, if you want to just make your life a lot easier and buy the starter kit, then I I will leave that in the description, but of course you can also just use this for a packing list as well. If you choose to use my code, then you will get £50 off, which I actually think is a bargain. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you would like a notification every time I upload a new video. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, my handle is at Lemay Horton. Follow me on there for all the most up-to-date information on what is going on in my life. And follow me on TikTok, my handle is at Lemay Horton. And the last O is a zero. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.